Hey, what is going on, guys? After a long time of me trying to fit it in, finally got my sub in. Now, all I have to do hook up my amp, hook up my capacitor, find a place where to put it in. I was thinking actually putting the amp right there. Actually, I'm going to put up these seats, but I could put it on the back of my, um, my sub box, you know. That'd be really close. I'm gonna have to find a way how to wire everything, you know, run up the zero gauge all the way up here to my uh, battery. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a place in the firewall. I'm gonna also have to find a place to ground it. That's gonna be, I think, a pain. There's all my wiring. I got everything, you know, ready. Oh yeah, and I also, have to get a new stereo. I tried to install the new stereo, but we ended up not having the correct wire. Well, we did we did have correct wires. It was just I need another set of wires here. Let me let me see if I have uh, um I need another one of these. This fits in the back of my stereo, like in, uh, that stereo will go out, this one will plug into where the other one plugged into the stereo, and then these wires would tie on to another one of these, and then it would be a different end that would plug into my head unit, here's my head unit, and as you can tell, they're different, they, they, they do not look the same. This has like a weird middle thing and that one doesn't. So, yeah, I'm, I was just doing a little update video on how I'm coming with this. I'm going to eventually get rid of the sub and get a maybe a 15-inch comp R. Um, I guess it's specified for this. This is 1,200 watts RMS and so is that other sub. And this is only 750. And this is also a 15-inch. So, yep, uh, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, well, sorry for wasting your life and... Um, have a great rest of your day.